Sorry if anyone thought it was crass, but Trump is doing what Trump does to giddy Democrats. The 2020 elections will be here soon and Democrats are scrambling to get ready. Based on what we've seen recently, they are not happy about their chances. Why do we think this? Because over the last few weeks, they've been suggesting major changes to the basic rules of our democracy. Here is what's been proposed. Lower the voting age to 16. Get rid of the Electoral College. Change the setup of the Supreme Court. Compensating much Democrats. I mean, I know you lost heart in 2016, but if the only way you can win is changing all of the rules, that's a bit pathetic, but what else is new? Luckily, we have an amazing president, folks! Exclamation mark. Here's the transcript if you need it. The Democrats are getting very strange. They now want to change the voting age to 16, abolish the Electoral College, and increase significantly the number of Supreme Court justices. Actually, you've got to win it at the ballot box. Boom. Trump never misses an opportunity to call out the ridiculousness of the left. As he points out, you can't make these changes until you win the election first, their plan is doomed from the start. Not to mention, even one of these changes would have been debated and rejected in times past. But today, Democrats are pushing for all of them, all at once. The ballot box is the heart of our democracy. Changes so drastic can only be made if the American people agree. Democrats seem to think that changing the rules will give them victory in 2020. 18 year olds aren't voting, so let's get even younger, more clueless, kids to vote. The Electoral Colleges failed us in 2016. So, let's just use the popular vote, Trump has a conservative majority in the Supreme Court. Let's just cram in two more judges. Or six. Or ten. Why not right? Whatever it takes, a Dems. Unless they win, this political party does not have the ultimate say in what happens in this country. We do. And I have a feeling that more than a few patriots, like all of you fine people, aren't interested in them at all. Make sure and make your voice heard this election, we have a lot at stake to protect in Washington this next year.